Pluto. Man, forget him. Okay, solar system roll call. We need the sun and all the planets. Come on over, guys. Huddle up. All right, everybody. Let's check out our positions for today's game. Like most diagrams, they don't have paper big enough to show both the relative distance and size of the planets in our solar system. So that's why we're here in this huge stadium to learn about the average distances from the sun and the planets. All right, guys. Let's go. Line up on the goal line. Let's start with the sun. So you're the center of our solar system, so that means that our solar system is heliocentric because all of the planets revolve 360 degrees around you. But we only have one football field right now, so we're gonna have to make half of the solar system. Okay, I want all the planets to take two steps back. Whoa, dude, you are too bright. I gotta put some sun filters on, whoa. Man, okay. Yep, that's me. I'm made up of hydrogen and helium. My average surface temperature gets up to 5,500 degrees centigrade. Yowch, don't touch. Okay, you're gonna go to the zero yard line or the goal line. Okay, next up, Mercury. That's right. I'm the smallest planet in the solar system, about one third the size of Earth. I kind of look like Earth's moon. Lots of craters, no atmosphere, but I've got a dense iron core. The closest I get to the sun is 46 million kilometers. Okay, head on over to the 1.3 yard line. That's it. Venus, you're up next. Here. Wow, you are pretty. Thanks. They call me Earth's sister planet because we're almost the same size. I'm rocky and I even have an atmosphere, although it is mostly made up of carbon dioxide. The closest I get to the sun is 107 million kilometers. All right, Venus, head on over to the 2.4 yard line. Hey, you guys all know me, right? I have an atmosphere that is made up of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. I am the only planet with life, ha, huh. well, that we know of. And the closest I get is 147 million kilometers from the sun. All right, we'll head on out to the 3.3 yard line. Next up, Mars. Hi, I'm the red planet because I have iron oxide or rust in my crust. I have two moons. And like Earth, I have polar ice caps, but I don't have any liquid water. I have this really thin atmosphere, but it's mostly made up of carbon dioxide. 207 million kilometers, that's the closest I get from the sun. Okay, okay. head on over to the 4.9 yard line right over there. Next up, we've got, hey big guy. <laughs> hey, I really am the biggest planet. I'm mostly made of hydrogen gas. And you know, I have stripes of clouds that move in opposite directions, so it looks like I have tiger stripes. What's even cooler than that is I have thin rings, plus 63 orbiting moons. But purr, it's really cold because I'm 741 million kilometers from the sun. All right, out to the 17.3 yard line. Next up, Saturn. Well, I'm pretty big too, second only to Jupiter. I'm another gas giant, mostly hydrogen with some helium too. My rings are my best feature, and they're made of mostly ice and dust. And you know, I have 60 moons, too. I'm way out there, at least 1.35 billion kilometers from the sun. Well, go ahead and trek out to that 31.8 yard line. Next up, we've got Uranus. I have 27 moons, and some faint rings, too. I'm made of mostly gas, like those two, but have lots of ice because it's so cold here. Would you believe negative 200 degrees centigrade? I'm super far from the sun, about 2.7 billion kilometers. That's twice as far as Saturn is away from the sun. All right, get out past the 50 yard line at 68.3 yards. Next up, Neptune. Just like Uranus out there, I'm an ice planet, mostly made up of hydrogen, ice from water, methane, and ammonia too. Pete, you do I stink. Hey, but I've got 13 moons. You heard me, 13 moons. I am 4.46 billion kilometers from the sun. That's way out there. In fact, I'm the farthest planet from the sun. We'll see you later. You're going out to the 99.9 .9 yard line. We won't be seeing her very soon. Okay, we can clearly see how far each planet is from the sun. 
And with some special effects, this is what they would all look like orbiting the sun. How big would the planets be if they were at this same scale? Well, would you believe it? Even the largest planet, Jupiter, would only be two and a half millimeters in diameter. That's a little smaller than the head of this pushpin. Earth would actually only be the size of a grain of sand. Find out when planets like Jupiter, Venus, and Mars are rising and setting in your region by searching the internet for planet rise and set times for your location. And see how you can observe the orbits of the major planets without even using a telescope. Never stop exploring your world!